In this video, we are going to learn Ethereum gas limit, which is a very important topic in the Ethereum blockchain. So let us see what is Ethereum gas limit. Ethereum gas limit is the maximum gas the transaction can consume. So let's say you are doing some kind of transaction. The maximum gas that your transaction can consume will be your Ethereum gas limit means will be the Ethereum gas limit of your transaction. And what is the transaction? As we have discussed before also, anything that changes the state of our blockchain, of our Ethereum blockchain in this case, is a transaction, right? And who set this Ethereum gas limit? So this Ethereum gas limit is actually set by the sender of the transaction. So let's say you are doing some kind of transaction, some Ether transfer to your friend. Now in this case, you will be setting this Ethereum gas limit. Now, okay, we understood what is this Ethereum gas limit and this is set by the sender. But what is the use of Ethereum gas limit? Why do we have this? We have learned about Ethereum gas, then we learned about Ethereum gas price. And now we have another term related to gas that is Ethereum gas limit. What is the use of it? Let us understand this. So if we talk about our smart contract, our smart contract is a program that is deployed on the Ethereum blockchain, right? And our smart contract is something that also changes the state of the blockchain. So if you are doing any kind of, you know, a state change operation with the help of your smart contract, you are at the end doing a transaction. Let's say you are calling some function of your smart contract and your smart contract is deployed to the blockchain on the blockchain. And let's say this function is changing some data on the Ethereum blockchain. Okay. On the block, which is, which is uh, at which this smart contract is deployed. Now, this function calling that you're doing is actually changing the state of the blockchain, right? So this will be a transaction. Now, since this smart contract is not running only on your system, but this smart contract is running on each and every system that is part of this Ethereum blockchain, right? Now, just suppose, just suppose, let's say this person is a hacker. Okay, just suppose that this person is a hacker and this person has launched a smart contract. And in this smart contract, he has some transaction which is consuming infinite amount of gas. Just uh, assumption, just, uh, you know, just an example that let's say this, this, this smart contract consists of a function which consumes infinite amount of gas. Now, what will happen in this case? Now, you may say that, okay, since this person is launching some function, which is, which is going to definitely consume, you know, infinite amount of gas. When I'm saying infinite, you think of it as a huge amount of gas. Okay. You can think like that also. Now, definitely he has to pay good amount of money for that. But another drawback of this situation is definitely, let's say this person is a rich person and he said, okay, I have no problem in giving money to the Ethereum blockchain. So he said, okay, no issues. I will call this function and I will pay the money, whatever money required. And I will pay that to the Ethereum blockchain. I have no issue with that. But there is one drawback. The drawback is that this smart contract is not running not only running on his system, but this smart contract is running on each and every system of this Ethereum blockchain. Means this will actually slow down the Ethereum blockchain, right? Let's say this smart contract consists of an infinite function. So this smart contract function is keep on running and run the loop actually not function infinite loop. Now this loop will be running infinitely. It will be continuously running. And he said, okay, I'm a rich person. I'm ready to pay you anything, whatever you want. But this will actually affect the overall system because each and every system has this smart contract as we talked about also that uh, in blockchain, everything is distributed. So this smart contract will be running on each and every system, which will actually slow down the Ethereum blockchain, right? And we do not want that. So that's why we have a concept of gas limit. We, in the starting of a transaction only, ask from the person who is doing the, any kind of transaction that, how much amount of gas you think your transaction is going to consume? Definitely it is totally an estimated guess. You cannot say that, okay, this will be the total amount. It is a totally estimated guess. Okay, this is the amount of gas my transaction is going to consume. You have to tell this to the Ethereum blockchain in advance, actually to the Ethereum wallet, whatever wallet you are using in advance, so that the Ethereum blockchain can, okay, see that, okay, this transaction is consuming this amount of gas. Okay, this is good. I have no issue with it. And then only that amount of that transaction will be executed on the Ethereum blockchain. 
so that it does not slow down the whole system. So that's why we have a limit. We are having a limit that has to be decided by the sender that, okay, this is the gas limit of my transaction with the transaction that I'm going to do. This will be the gas limit of my transaction. Okay. So you have to give it a finite number so that the Ethereum blockchain can accept it if it is a good amount of limit. And if the limit is too high, it will reject that transaction. Let me show you that also. So this is my MetaMask wallet. Let me copy this address and let me send some amount of Ether to me only. Okay, I'm sending some amount of Ether to my address only. Just to show you, what do I mean by that? So I will have 0.0, .0 point some zero 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 one ether okay i want to send this amount of ether to me i will click on next now when i will click on next if you will go to this part this market part and then if you will go in this advanced settings you will see that there is an option of ethereum gas limit that you can set you can edit this ethereum gas limit according to the type of transaction that you are doing Typically, whenever you are doing an Ether transfer, an Ether transfer, in that case, 21,000 is the Ethereum gas limit, okay? It is the Ethereum gas limit in uh, like whenever you are sending some amount of Ether to your friend. But definitely when it is a smart contract transaction, in that case, your gas limit may vary. It can be more than 21,000, but 21,000 is the minimum. So it can be more than 21,000 only, okay? And also this gas limit is also used in order to calculate your Ethereum transaction fees. Okay. So here you can see that there are a lot of things, right? Maximum base fee, priority fee, but you do not have to go in the calculation of it because this thing keep on changing. Okay. Earlier there was uh, another criteria in order to calculate the gas fee. And now we have another criteria of calculating the gas fee. So do not, uh, if you want to go into that, definitely you can, but I will not suggest you because this is something which will keep on changing. And I don't think so there is any use of it, but definitely if you want to, you can go and learn about this on ethereum.org website. And as I said, this gas limit, you can change it according to your convenience. And you might be thinking I can have, let's say 42,000. Definitely you can have a 42,000 gas limit. Then you also have to pay uh, the amount, you know, you, you have to pay for the 42,000 gas limit amount of fees as well. So do not think that you can have 100,000 of gas limit. So if you are going to have 100,000 gas limit, then you have to pay accordingly. Now, what will happen? Let's say you might be thinking that, okay, if my guess is wrong, if let's say my transaction is consuming only 35,000 in this case. So what will happen? The remaining 7,000 gas limit fees will get reverted to your account. So don't worry about it. If it is, let's say your transaction is consuming 35,000 and you have put it, you know, you have put 42,000 in that case, 7,000 will be reverted back to your account. And if you are having less amount of gas limit, let's say your transaction is going to consume 42,000 and you have only used 35,000, let's say. Now, in this case, what will happen? Your transaction will get failed and your money will also be not refunded because it's your mistake because the miner who has picked your transaction has put all his effort in order to solve for your transaction. But now, since you have given only 35,000 amount of gas limit, he will not be able to execute your transaction because your gas limit must be 42,000. So it will be rejected and you will not get any kind of refund. Okay, so that's the case. So I hope you like this video. If you have liked this video, please click on that like button. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe to this channel because I'm regularly going to upload new blockchain courses on this channel. And if you want to interact with me on Instagram, this is my Instagram ID and blockchain developer discord link is given in the description. So join that as well. And if you have any doubts or any queries, comment below the video. I'll be happy to answer your doubts. Thank you so much, guys. Meet you soon in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.